Hello Virgo, this is Amber with Lives in Sync Tarot. Thank you so much for coming back. I've already shuffled and meditated over your cards. This is the reading for January 15th through the 31st. I do want to take this time to thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing. It really gives me the energy to to continue channeling these messages for you all. I just wanted to do that. Thank you so much. So we'll get started. Your first card is the Four of Wands. Two of Swords. Four of Cups. Five of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Hermit, Ace of Swords, I'm going to pull these cards up, sorry. There we go. Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands. The Tower. Ooh, very active reading, Virgo. Your overall energy is the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords being your overall energy, it's time for you to rest. Um, definitely seems like when this comes up, you've been going through something. been going through something and it's time for you to take a rest it's time for you to recuperate to regain your stance in the situation take a passive approach sometimes let's see if spirit has any clarify this for that. I'm just hearing it's time for you to rest. It's time for you to rest your thoughts. Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. You're rehashing something from the past. And it's time for you to rest. It's time for you to rest on it. It's... I'm getting this feeling of you just beating a dead horse it's just time for you to take a passive approach it's time for you to take a rest so that the lesson can continue thank you spirit it's basically a situation where the peak of this particular part of the lesson has approached and it's not going to it's not going to get any better or there won't be any changes so it's time for you to just take a rest on it okay the queen of swords came up and she is an organized thinker. She's very organized, quick, independent. And that's what it's time for you to be, Virgo. 
So in the middle of your reading, you have the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups is all about friends and family and celebrating. And I'm really getting the feeling like that's what you need to do. It's time for you to enjoy yourself fully, even in your mind. Just because you're doing, you're doing it on the outside doesn't mean that you're doing it on the inside. And it's time for you to fully enjoy yourself, okay? Celebrate yourself. The Nine of Pentacles. That's all about basking or enjoying the fruits of your own labor, okay? What you've done for yourself. Who you are, what you've been through. The Hermit means that you've taken some time to actually go within and gain some knowledge about what's going on. The Knight of Pentacles is acting on that knowledge. However, it's a slow and steady card. Knight. That Knight is very slow and steady. Meaning that you're doing it for keeps. It's not for fun. It's something that you want to continue for a long time. So you're bringing something to an end here. It's that old energy. It's coming to an end. Yeah. I'm definitely getting the feeling of it. it's coming to an end and... This is like... I'm not saying the residual energy, but... There's a phase coming to the end, maybe. Something's coming to the end, which is interesting because I don't see any tens or nines. I do see a one. So, you have the four of wands, okay? And the four of wands is all about building new foundations. It's about happily building new foundations. Like, um, you started off something and it was working and now you're celebrating and continuing to build on what you started building. So you're standing, wow, yeah, you're definitely standing up for what's right here, okay, what's best for you, uh, what you feel is owed to you, like your karma, um, it's a balance with integrity and honesty, okay, um, seeking justice, karma, that's what you're celebrating. You're celebrating even though there's something around your thoughts. Actually, it's your thoughts. Um, are at a stalemate. Um, there's no movement. It's like a deadlock. Like, there's no deciding. You're still, even though life is going on around you, inside you're still at a mental split like you're just like I still don't know what to do I'm still holding on but you're not reacting to it it's almost like you're living in an illusion the moon came out and there's also a moon in the two of swords. I'm getting more of a feeling of illusion here. Um, you're not seeing the whole picture. So, so you're finishing it in your mind. Like, 
like those little eye magic things where the line isn't complete but it looks like it is it's just like that kind of thing yep you got the other card of illusion it's so funny because spirit just told me this card was going to come up and i don't know why it came up but <laughs> um illusion it's all a illusion you're not you're not being clear with yourself when it comes to your thoughts and your emotions you're still focusing on yeah thank you spirit you're still focusing on the fact that there was a lost opportunity okay you're not focusing on the the things that are being handed to you i don't know what they are spirit Mm, the opportunity to start again. That's what's being handed to you. You're, you're given an opportunity to start a new lifestyle. To leave that old stuff behind and start again. With your emotions. Yeah. To be more exuberant, warm, and happy. That person that you want to be. That's what I heard. Thank you, Spirit. And not so focusing on something that's not going anywhere or doing anything. But you just have hopes that it will. I'm hearing that that's not healthy. That's not healthy. This is, this is what you want. Okay? This is a this is an important decision for you. And it's important so you learn the values of what your true love really is. So your your intuition is telling you that this isn't right, but for some reason you're holding on. I don't know if it's because it's just over time you feel like Maybe you're, you'll be alone. You're just holding on even though you have the knowledge to make the move, okay? Spirit is definitely telling you to focus on the fact that there's no opportunity here. There's no opportunity. Nothing is coming of this. But you have the opportunity to start it and start new again with different emotions this time. Thank you, Spirit. That's important for you to know. You can't keep going into... Okay, it's about to come out, Virgo. <laughs> you can't keep going into new relationships with the same feelings. That's not going to get you anywhere. Hey, Spirit just told me to focus on the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords are your thoughts. It's like you go into something new with the same thoughts. They're not changing. They're just staying. So... This is more about self-love. This opportunity that you're getting, it's, and I can feel the spirit is moving me along because I'm on backtrack, but your focus or the opportunity that you're being given is for self-love. Giving you the opportunity now to love yourself, to find yourself, to realize that the person that you're looking for or the reason why 
there's this deadlock is because you need to find yourself. Thank you, Spirit. And that's what the rest is for. Laying down your swords and laying down those thoughts so you can be with yourself and love yourself. So you have the five of pentacles and that's about need. Needing to have faith, feeling abandoned. But you're not abandoned because you always have yourself. So there is something new, a new passion, a new drive, growth, growth within yourself, okay? And the King of Cups is all about emotional balance and control. I had this, a reading with someone and I feel like this is directed towards you now. Generosity emotional balance and control you cannot you can not love another person the way that they need to be loved if you do not love yourself another person cannot love you the way you need to be loved if they do not love themselves you need to realize that you need to have a love for yourself to realize the kind of love you need to receive. If not, you'll settle for less than what's owed to you. Thank you, Spirit. And it's time for you to have that cup overflowing. If the love you have for yourself overflows your cup on its own, you will expect nothing less than that from someone else. Thank you. So with the Hermit card, this relaxation time you go within, and I'm really getting this feeling of going within and, and finding yourself. With this Six of Pentacles, it's about give and take. And that's what you're learning. You're learning the give and take. Because you've either been giving too much of yourself or taking too much in relationships. And I think it's giving. And I'm just really strongly feeling giving. But other people have been taking from you and not giving. And this is what you're going inward to find. It's more of just a love for yourself, okay? Okay, so this is all about, the goal here is to find contentment, okay? To find that dream come true relationship, that bond, okay? But in order to do that, you have to let go of the illusions, the illusions that you're carrying around, okay? With the hangman in reverse, this is all about being a martyr. Okay? Sacri making a sacrifice. Sacrificing yourself. So it's time for you to sacrifice yourself. To abandon your old self to find your new self. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, this is lovely. And then you walk into the Ace of Swords. This is clarity. This is 
the universe and the divine energy giving you clarity here is the situation and this is why it's an opportunity because you have the choice to accept this or not you have the choice to go back to your old ways you have the choice to take this knowledge and grow the choice is yours. This is your opportunity. I do get the feeling that you take this opportunity. Okay. Um, you get a new passion, a new energy, a new drive, a determination to do this for yourself. And then the tower. This brings about... Oh, this brings about transformation, okay? It brings about sudden change, a revelation. Wow, that whole set of cards came right back up. So I'm going to clarify these two cards just in case Spirit has more message for you. But on the Knight of Swords, you got all these cards. And I feel like you're moving away from those thoughts. You're realizing that they're not taking you anywhere. You're reliving the same situations and nothing new is coming out of it. But you want something new. You want to start over. This is the ending. This is a new cycle coming into being. The new cycle is coming into being because you're realizing. Thank you, Spirit. You're realizing that you want your dreams to come true. You want an equal partnership. You want the illusions gone. You want to be able to make a choice. A smart choice, a secure choice for yourself. cards falling out here okay so the tower brought up the queen of pentacles the four of swords the eight of pentacles justice death and the five of cups i know that means nothing to you but i just wanted to say that <laughs> so to to clarify on the tower you got the Queen of Pentacles, which means that what's going to help you is your energy of being down to earth and secure and practical, okay? Even though you have this determination and this drive, you're not going to be fiery and make the wrong decisions because you're an earth sign and you're grounded. You're grounded and you're taking a rest. So you're laying down those thoughts, these negativity I'm sorry, this negativity so you can so you can work hard, okay? And focus on what's right, what's due to you, creating balance, okay? Um, living in integrity and honesty about yourself though, which is important. So then you come up with the death card and the five of cups. This fell out together. Now, the death card is telling me that there is a transition, okay? There is a transformation for the better, a change within yourself, okay? You, you go with the change. You decide to make the change. The problem is you're a little sad. And the reason why you're a little sad is because of that earth energy from the Queen of Pentacles. Um, 
that energy is you want to hold on to things, okay? You want to hold on to the way that things were because they were comfortable. And you're focusing on that energy. However, you don't see that you have two cups behind you that are full. But it's, it's not a mistake that you can't see them because you don't know what's in the future or what the future holds. The only promise that you have to go off of is this promise here of the opportunity of having that full cup that the universe is handing to you, okay? So, so that's that. I'm going to leave that there. Spirit told me that was it. Thank you, Spirit. Wow, this was pretty intense, Virgo. I will say that. So, I'm going to pull a oracle card for you, Virgo. Wow. I don't know if you can see that, but that flipped right up. Clean it up. And this is from the Wisdom of the Oracle deck. Spirit also told me to pull another Oracle card for you, so we'll get to that right after this. But the Oracle card, getting to the core of the situation. Freedom from a burden. Cleaning house. Sweeping away what is no longer needed. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you cannot think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work? Overwhelmed? Time to clean house? Every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that lead to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to an unnecessary feeling of being overwhelmed. Now is the time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. I'm going to read the relationship one as well. Time to clear the air. Take a look at your side of the street and say what's on your mind. Sweep away the old stuff so that a spring breeze can flow through with new energy. It's the perfect time to do an inventory of your dynamics and see what's yours and what's not yours. To clean up the relationship. Everyone brings some baggage. Sort through what you brought with you and let go what is no longer needed. Thank you, Spirit, for that. That was confirmation. I'm just saying. Become unencumbered and your relationship will flourish. Um, I'm going to say it's up to you whether you want to keep that relationship. It's not telling you that you should. Uh, I just heard that. Um, but this is more of a focus on yourself. Okay. And spirit guide, what is the additional effort? Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough, along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers, and we will buoy your courage and faith. Have confidence, Virgo. Have confidence, Virgo, in yourself and what you are capable of achieving okay I do want to thank you so much for listening to this reading it was really good it was a really good reading um, blessings on cleaning up this is I'm gonna take this this moonstone and put this in the middle of your reading because this is all about new beginnings for you Actually, I'm going to put it on this clarity. And I'm going to let it sit here for a while. Just to put some positive energy in your, your way. Thank you so much for listening to this reading. I do appreciate it. Um, I really hope that this resonated with you. This was, a, this was a good reading. I hope this is for you.
I hope to see you next month. Yeah, next month. <laughs> Love and light. Bye-bye.